How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here and today I'm going to give you my top 5 most practical ways of dealing with tall birds. Number 5. Pigs. As you are probably aware, you can ally with pigs simply by feeding them meat. So go ahead and give them a piece of meat and have a couple of them tag along behind you. And once you aggro a tall bird, make sure you grab their egg in the process because otherwise they will not follow you. The pigs will aggro the bird as well as long as you have actually targeted them. So make sure that you click on the tall bird first, otherwise the pigs will just stand around and not do anything. This one is number five on my list because it requires a lot of stuff to get up and going. You need to feed meat to a couple of pigs. So right away, if you're the only reason that you're getting these pigs is to actually kill the tall bird, it's not really a good return on investment because the two meat you have to feed to the pigs is essentially what you get back from killing a tall bird. But on the other side, I could also see you making the case, well, maybe you just don't have the equipment to deal with a tall bird at the time, and you will score an egg most likely from the nest. So it is an alternative, although my least favorite, like I've said, because for the aforementioned reasons. Number four, bee mines. Now, bee mines are little mines you craft out of some bees and a few other materials and you can place them in the ground and when an enemy walks over them or even a neutral mob walking over them will activate it and the bees will spring out of the ground and start attacking the mob that activated it. In our case, it's going to be a tall bird. Once again, you probably want to actually go ahead and grab that tall bird egg to make sure the tall bird continues to follow you. But given the portability of the bee mine, this is not necessary because what you could simply do is plant the bee mine relatively close to the tall bird nests and just get within range of a tall bird, aggro them, get them to come out there far enough. And then when they step on the mine, the bees will pop out of it and start attacking them. One of the tricky things here is to actually actually keep the tall bird from targeting the bees because the bees don't have much health and a couple of pecks from a tall bird can remove a bee. If you do it right, you can definitely remove a tall bird with one bee mine. But again, bee mines are a little bit expensive given what you're actually going to get in return for it, which is simply two meat. So again, not quite my favorite. Moving on to something a little bit better. Here we have number three, tooth traps. I think they are all around a good middle ground compromise between cost and efficiency by placing at least seven of them because it will take at least seven hits to kill a tall bird at full health. You can easily take a tall bird out, but it can require a little bit of maneuvering around the tooth traps. Once again, another great positive here is that tooth traps are easy to place. You can pick them up and just take them with you wherever you're going. So you do not necessarily have to be confined find to a certain area with them and you can also use this to your advantage when you simply have a tooth like a bed of tooth traps that you have laid out for maybe dealing with hounds the resources for making tooth traps are easily acquired and given the fact that each of them has 10 uses you'll certainly get a lot of mileage out of doing it this way number two is the lure plant. Now, this is a little bit trickier to make work. To begin with, the lure plant has to be placed on bare ground. So where the tall birds usually spawn, there is going to be like a rock surface over it. And if you plant a lure plant on that, none of the eye plants will spring up around it. So you have to make sure you clear an area first for the lure plant. Then you're going to have to plant the lure plant. And then you're going to have to wait a little while for all the eye plants to spawn. But once you have achieved this and have sort of set up this little lure plant farm, you can easily lure multiple tall birds into it and have them be attacked by the eye plant. Now it's important that when you do this, you actually grab the tall bird egg first because otherwise the tall bird just does not hang around the lure plant long enough to take enough damage and generally retreats back to their nest. And since the lure plant is stationary, you're not actually going to be able to position the lure plant each time you want to get rid of a tall bird. That's why with this one, I would definitely recommend taking the egg every time time. Now the downside to this is that the lure plant is going to eat the meat from the killed tall birds and depending upon how much time you allow to elapse they might actually digest part of that already. According to the wiki page for the lure plant it digests stuff every 30 seconds so you don't have a whole lot of in-game time really to do it but when it comes to just taking out a lot of tall birds and while at the same time scoring a lot of eggs, this is probably the most efficient you're going to get at it. While you know risking very little to yourself, it's not going to cost much in resources because a lure plant is essentially free. Uh, you just dig up some area around it, uh, plant it down, and voila, you have this death trap that you can lure tall birds into. 
But that brings us to number one, and it is the tried and true method of kiting. Sometimes you just got to get your hands dirty and do things yourself. Now, the reason that kiting is number one for me is in general, dealing with tall birds is not that tricky, especially if you're using the keyboard and use uh, shortcuts for force attacking as well as moving around. So WASD to actually move around the area and then you use the force attack key. You can map it to whatever you find most convenient to actually attack aggroed enemies. Now, I understand that kiting can be pretty tricky for people who are just using a mouse. If you're using a mouse to move and attack, that can be very difficult to actually kill a tall bird without taking a lot of damage. Again, when you're actually getting up close and personal with any enemy, I always recommend you use armor, either like a log suit or even a football helmet. The two of them are his best, but the log suit is almost mandatory. But once you get into the flow of things, simply being able to take out a tall bird pretty much on the spot without much prior planning is a huge boon and you can make sure that you're pretty much always equipped to deal with whatever the game is throwing at you. In general, I would recommend taking the egg because why would you engage a tall bird if not? But it is definitely a method to farm a couple of meat. If you're starving and you need some meat, simply head out with log armor and a spear and you're pretty much good to go. So anyway, I hope you found that interesting. Those are my top five most practical ways of dealing with tall birds in the game. I have experimented with multiple variants and I've narrowed it down to those five because people like lists of five. So I hope you found that at least slightly interesting. Thank you very much for watching as always. And don't forget to let me know in the comment section below what your favorite method of dealing with the tall bird is. Anyway, until next time, goodbye.